The purpose of this video is to walk through the steps for simulation of hypothesis testing where we're looking at the difference of the two means for two given characteristics here. So I'm looking at the hot dog data set. I took out the meat category, so I deleted all those guys. So we now have 20 beef and 17 poultry hot dogs. Um, and these are the brands. I put in the ruler tool to measure the difference uh, between the two meats, and I have 38.1 calories. So what I need to do is set up my, my groups. The first attribute I'm going to type in here is rank. And the second one is group. In order to get these guys ordered randomly from 1 to 37, I'm going to put in a command called unique rank. And you can find it if you want to scroll through the um, menu down there. You can just type unique rank. And then I'm going to type random. So I'm going to use the random digit generator to get a random assignment to each of the hot dog uh, brands that's in there. And then the unique rank is going to order those from 1 to 37. So click OK. So now this hot dog right here is number 9 in the list. And if I go here, he's 33. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to group these guys. So I'm going to use the if then else. So type if parentheses rank rank, which is our variable we just made, is less than. So we want to set up a group here. So we want 17 in one group and 20 in the other. So let's go less than 18. Tab over and use your double quotes A for the first group. Tab again, double quotes B for the next group. If you do not have these double quotes in there, it will not take these as text and you'll get an error message. So let's click OK. So now that you see what we've done, we've got, because it's colored on group, we see that the random, random grouping is, is working here. Let's create a new plot. So let's pull this guy down. And we'll look at the grouping here. So we've got... Let me turn on my count because I like to set these up so the, the order or the size here matches to the um, sample that we have. Do, 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 do. Sorry. I like things to line up here. So let's go ahead and put calories down here. And get these to stack up. Put our means on. Put the ruler on. And I'm going to go in the same direction. I'm going to go from the 17, this direction, 17 to the 20. So I'm going to go left to right from 17 to 20, and it might be a negative direction, but I want to maintain that that starting point as the group that has 17. And that's a little bit, I can't pull that up because I can't see the little bar. Um, but we can read it. The difference is 2.6 calories. So here's where things get exciting. We want to pull 100 of these guys. So I'm going to click here. And we've got one. Now this is something you really want to pay attention to. When I have this history of hot dogs um, case table highlighted, go up here and click on Object, Inspect Collection, and turn off the animation. Then you can run it, and it won't take so much time to run it. So there we go. The video so I could go ahead and capture my simu my 100 samples here, and notice that. My top value here is not anywhere near the 38.1. So we can say that this, this, based on our simulation, by chance, we're probably never going to get a difference between the random grouping of uh, 38.1 calories. So this is how you set up the simulation. And if I wanted to change my axis here to 38, I could, but I'm out of time. Thanks for watching.